The IAS 750 is IOTA's most advanced mini inverter system. It features the compact size of a mini inverter solution with the power and flexibility to provide critical emergency egress lighting to up to three distinct output zones with separate switching or zero to 10 volt dimming controls. This video will deep dive into the function and features of the IAS 750 and provide insight on how to apply the IAS 750 to design flexible and reliable emergency lighting systems. To start, let's go over the basic specifications of the IAS 750. The IAS 750 is designed to provide emergency power for 90 minutes to designated emergency luminaires. The output of the IAS 750 is AC line voltage, so connected emergency luminaires will operate at full light output during utility power loss conditions. This helps to more easily meet the foot candle requirements set by the emergency lighting code. The total output rating of the IAS 750 is 750 watts. This means that the IAS 750 can accommodate a normal and emergency lighting load made up of LED, fluorescent, or incandescent fixtures up to 750 watts. The output of the IAS 750 is rated to NEMA 410 standards, so derating is not required to accommodate inrush from LED loads. The IAS 750 can be loaded with a full 750 watts of LED lighting. That being said, derating can still be employed to extend the runtime of emergency luminaires. We recommend contacting IOTA customer service if this is an application you're interested in. The IAS 750 features a universal voltage input of 120 through 277 VAC with auto detecting voltage output. It is UL924 listed for the United States and Canada and features high efficiency charging circuitry to meet California Title 20 energy efficiency standards. Additionally, it includes built-in surge protection to meet ANSI slash IEEE standards. Now, let's discuss operation. At a basic level, the IAS 750 acts as a backup AC power source for designated emergency luminaires along the path of egress. During normal power conditions, the IAS 750 will pass through utility power to interfacing luminaires, allowing them to operate as normal. If a power loss occurs, the IAS 750 will detect the drop in utility power and switch to providing power through its internal batteries. The inverter component of the IAS 750 inverts the battery DC voltage to AC voltage, allowing it to deliver this AC voltage to emergency luminaires as though utility power had not been lost. Again, this means that emergency luminaires will operate at full light output for the required 90 minutes of emergency illumination. One of the unique features of the IS 750 is the ability for users to configure up to three output zones of emergency luminaires that can all be controlled by an on-off switch and or dimming control. Before we dive into how this feature can improve the flexibility of your emergency system and potentially save cost, let's discuss how typical inverter systems accommodate lighting controls. A common desire for applications with emergency inverters is to use local lighting controls, such as a wall switch, zero to 10 volt dimmer, or both, with designated emergency luminaires. These controls grant more flexibility to occupants of the lighting space, and also allow building owners to save energy by turning off the lights when the building isn't occupied. However, these controls present a challenge for emergency egress lighting. To illustrate this, let's run through an example application. Say we have a school with three classrooms. Each classroom has a mixture of normal and designated emergency luminaires that are all fed from a single lighting branch circuit. To provide emergency egress lighting, this school purchased an inverter, a great choice, to provide backup power to the designated emergency lights. If power is lost, the inverter will keep the emergency luminaires running, allowing the occupants to exit safely. Now, let's say the school installs a wall switch in each classroom, although this could also be a 0 to 10 volt dimmer. 
Now, the occupants can switch the lights off at night and on again in the morning, or switch them off when it's time to watch a movie. The school also saves energy by not running the fixtures 24-7. However, what happens when power is lost? Well, if local controls are on the emergency circuit, and these controls are switched off or dimmed to dark, then the emergency lights won't illuminate. Emergency lighting code dictates that there must be a way to bypass any control devices on the emergency circuit that may reduce the light level, so that the emergency illumination is sufficient enough for occupants to safely exit the building over a 90 minute runtime. Now, one way to accomplish this is to just not use controls on designated emergency luminaires. However, this removes the flexibility of occupants being able to change the light levels and can rack up significant power costs from having the lights run 24-7. Another option is to employ normally off circuitry on the emergency inverter, which means the inverter will only engage when power is lost. During normal operation, the emergency luminaires would stay off. This solves the energy savings problem, but means that some of the lights aren't functional for day-to-day -day use. A third option is to employ an automatic load control relay, or ALCR device, such as the IOTA ETS-DR. This equipment is typically installed inside or near an emergency luminaire ahead of the normal driver. It monitors the presence of normal power and will allow lighting controls to affect the luminaire if power is present. If power is lost, the ALCR device will ignore the lighting controls and allow emergency power to reach the luminaire uninterrupted. This is an excellent option to enable the use of controls on emergency luminaires and one that IOTA commonly puts to use but it does come with the drawback of requiring additional equipment on the emergency circuit. This, of course, can add additional cost. The last option, which is employed by the IS750, is to provide control bypass circuitry on the inverter itself. The inverter monitors the presence of normal power and will bypass any lighting controls if a power loss is detected. To dive deeper into how this works, let's zoom into a single classroom with a wall switch or on-off control device and a 0 to 10 volt dimming control. To address the wall switch or on-off control device, the emergency inverter makes use of two inputs. An unswitched input to charge its battery and monitor normal power, and a switched input, which is used to pass power through the inverter during normal operation. A switch or other on-off control can be connected to the switched input and be used to control the luminaires during day-to-day -day use. This same switch can control both normal and emergency fixtures. The inverter will monitor the presence of power via the unswitched input and if a power loss is detected, the switched input will be ignored and the inverter will power the luminaires via its internal battery at full brightness. To address the 0 to 10 volt dimmer, the emergency inverter also features dimming relay contacts. If connected to a 0 to 10 volt dimming control, these contacts provide continuity, meaning they allow the dimming signal to reach the emergency luminaires during normal operation. This allows the emergency luminaires to be dimmed during day to day use. If a power loss is detected via the unswitched input, the inverter will interrupt the dimming signal, causing the luminaires to turn on at full brightness. Employing an emergency inverter with a switched input and or dimming relay enables the use of lighting controls on emergency luminaires in our classroom. Now all fixtures can be switched and dimmed during day-to-day -day use while still ensuring that emergency illumination is available when it is needed. However, there is still one challenge to discuss when we zoom out to our full application, a challenge that the IAS 750 is uniquely equipped to solve. Let's go back to our full application with three classrooms. 
We've shown that using an emergency inverter with a switched input and or dimming relay is an excellent way to enable lighting controls in our classrooms. However, most inverters only feature a single switched input or dimming relay. This means that only a single wall switch or 0 to 10 volt dimming control could be bypassed, and therefore this one switch or dimmer would have to be used for all emergency luminaires throughout the three classrooms. This is less than ideal. To allow each classroom to have its own switch or dimmer, we could employ multiple inverters, one for each classroom, or again utilize ALCR devices, but it would be nice to not need any extra equipment to accomplish this. This is where the IAS 750 really shines. Off the shelf, it features not one, but three switched inputs and three sets of dimming relay leads. This means that a single IAS 750 could supply emergency lighting to all three classrooms. And each classroom could have their own on-off switch, 0 to 10 volt dimming control, or both. The IS750 would bypass the controls in each classroom during a power loss and supply power to the designated emergency luminaires such that the fixtures illuminate at full brightness. No additional ALCR devices or inverters are needed, and the building occupants achieve code required emergency egress lighting requirements while benefiting from the flexibility and energy saving potential of lighting controls. To summarize, the IAS 750 offers three input circuit breakers, each with a switched input and dimming relay contacts. These input circuit breakers allow users to configure up to three output lighting zones that can be controlled by their own on-off switch or 0 to 10 volt dimmer. Any controls are bypassed during emergency power conditions, causing the designated emergency luminaires to operate at full brightness. Utilizing each input circuit breaker on the IS750 is also completely optional. The IS750 can be used to configure three, two, or even just one output zone, each with its own on-off or dimming control, as long as the total lighting load for all zones combined doesn't exceed 750 watts. For example, the IS750 could operate 200 watts of emergency luminaires in a smaller classroom, while also operating 550 watts of emergency luminaires in a larger classroom or auditorium. The larger classroom could even make use of two of the IS750's input circuit breakers, and have a separate lighting zone with controls for, say, the audience and another for the presenter. And although our examples here focused on classrooms, the IIS 750 could accommodate any number of three lighting zone configurations, each with independent controls, as long as the zones are all fed from a single lighting branch circuit. All of this is possible right out of the box with the IIS 750. The IS750 also features a few additional features that can help with monitoring and maintaining your emergency lighting equipment. These features include self-testing and self-diagnostic technology that conducts required monthly and annual tests and reports on inverter health and load readiness. A switchable audible indicator to alert maintenance staff of any critical issues that may affect performance. And a service contact that allows the IAS 750 to interface with the secondary monitoring device. These features, combined with the IAS 750's three input circuit breakers, make it an extremely flexible emergency lighting solution for many diverse applications. We hope you enjoyed this discussion of the IOTA IAS 750 and are as excited as we are about the flexibility it offers to design reliable emergency lighting systems that utilize lighting controls. To learn more about the IS750's features or specifications, we invite you to visit us online at iotaengineering.com or give us a call at 800-866-4682. Our team at IOTA is dedicated to providing the best in industry service to help you discover the perfect emergency egress lighting solution for any application. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it below and subscribing to our channel for more emergency lighting tips, tricks, and demonstrations. Thank you for watching, and we hope to hear from you soon.